This is Dailyish Neo Pronouns number two, featuring Z, here, here, here's, and here self pronouns. You can read along with this in the description below. Z, here, here's, here self pronouns will follow the same rules as she, her, hers, and herself. This means you replace she with Z, replace her with here, replace hers with here's, and herself with herself. Example, she is going to adopt a new puppy soon, as soon as she gets a fence set up around her yard so the puppy can go outside with her without her having to walk it. Her uncle is going to help set up the fence, since he has a set of power tools he's letting her use since she lost hers. This then becomes... Z is going to adopt a new puppy soon, as soon as Z gets a fence set up around here yard so the puppy can go outside without here having to walk it. Here uncle is going to help set up the fence, since Z has a set of, he has a set of power tools he's letting here use, since Z lost here's. The Mirrored Dream Z had always been a misfit growing up, for as long as Z could remember. remember. Magical ability ran in here family, but even so, Z was a strange one. Her abilities were different from her mother and father's, even from her aunts and uncles and all her cousins. Everyone else in her family had elemental powers of water, fire, wood, wind, and metal. But her powers didn't manifest in the ability to control fire or move the air, or bend the water or grow trees or shape metal. Her magical abilities came in the form of her dreams, where, for as long as Z had been able to remember, had been more like a second world than anything else, not even close to what her family members described their dreams as, once Z was old enough to ask them about their worlds, since, not knowing any better, Z had assumed that what Z dreamt was normal. It wasn't. Other people didn't have entire worlds and landscapes inside their dreams that they came back to night after night without fail, and most people weren't even able to remember their dreams once they woke up while Z could remember any details as clearly as Z could remember the things that happened while Z was awake. It wasn't until Z was nine that Z began to really understand the scope of here power, what Z could do with it. It wasn't just another world in here dreams, it was a mirror world. The people Z spoke to there were reflections of the people in this world, reflections of here family and friends and village. The things Z did there affected here waking world, and here waking world affected the dreaming world. When Z was nine, Z stole a bracelet in her dreaming world, because even there, her family didn't have much money, and Z wanted it desperately. When Z woke up again, Z realized with shock that a bracelet was around her wrist, different to the one in her dream, but the same. A mirror image. Z had stolen the, it in her dream, and it so stole it in the waking world. Z took off the bracelet immediately and hid it under her bed, overwhelmed with confusion that was warring with quickly rising guilt. Z had stolen it from Kibea, the craftsman who lives down the road, and he was supposed to be coming over to their house for dinner later that evening. He didn't make any mention of the bracelet being stolen, but Z didn't ask either, too afraid to hear the answer. That night in her dream, Z snuck the bracelet back into the display case, and we... Z woke up again, it was no longer hidden under her bed. And when Z walked down the street, Z saw it displayed in Kibea's shop window just as it had been before, in the exact spot Z had placed it in the dream. Now, four years later, Z was thirteen, and Z needed to figure out how to use this ability to save her sister's life.